Hi, I'm Rob Vanstone, and welcome to what was originally supposed to be a video on Darian Durant. And then it was going to be a video about Weston Dressler. And eventually it morphed into a video about Weston Dressler and Darian Durant. Because I think their careers, their time in Saskatchewan, are so closely intertwined. And there's so many similarities between the two. That you, can, you can almost tell their stories together. And that's what we're going to try to do today. Weston Dressler and Darian Durant both joined the Rough Riders with little or no fanfare. Darian Durant was a throw-in in an April 12, 2006 trade. As for Weston Dressler, he was signed in May of 2008. And his signing with the Rough Riders was reported on page two of the Leader Post Sports section and not in a long story. Darian Durant had been with the Rough Riders for two years by the time Weston Dressler arrived. In 2006, he'd been well down the depth chart. He made his CFL debut in Hamilton, rushed once for 20 yards, and threw one pass for 14 yards, the receiver being Shermar Bracey. 2007, Darian Durant was the Riders' third string quarterback for the entire season, dressed for every game, dressed for the Grey Cup game. Ahead of him on the depth chart were Kerry Joseph and Marcus Crandall. So Darian Durant didn't play a down during that championship season of 2007. And it didn't appear entering 2008 that he was poised to ascend on the depth chart. When the 2008 season began, Darian Durant was again number three. Marcus Crandall was number one after the trade of Kerry Joseph to Toronto. Number two was Stephen Giles. And then there was Darian Durant, but then things began to change. In week two of the 2008 season, the Riders went to BC and early in that game, Marcus Crandall was hurt. In comes Stephen Giles, who's ineffective. So in comes Darian Durant to start the, start the second half. The Riders didn't ask him to do much that game. They just asked him to cautiously operate the offense. And that he did. The Riders won 26-16. And a week later, they were going to Hamilton and Darian Durant was named the starting quarterback for a July 12, 2008 game in Hamilton. Well, it turns out that was a breakout game for Weston Dressler as well. He'd been on the Riders roster for the first two games of the 2008 season, but was used primarily as a, as a punt returner. He caught only one pass over those two games. But as was the case during that game in BC where Marcus Crandall got hurt, DJ Flick also got injured. DJ, DJ Flick had had 1,000 plus yards and 10 touchdowns for the Riders as a slot back in 2007, but he got, he got hurt in week two of 2008, and suddenly the Riders have an opening for a starting slot back that was filled by Weston Dressler. So for that July 12, 2008 game in Edmonton, again, Darian Durant and Weston Dressler being so closely intertwined, that was the first start, if you will, for both of them in the Canadian Football League, and what a start it was. The Riders won 33-28 in Hamilton. Darian Durant threw for well over 300 yards. Weston Dressler had an amazing game. He caught six passes for 122 yards, including a 30-yard touchdown pass from Darian Durant. Late in the game, the Riders were behind. Darian Durant found Weston Dressler over the middle. He ends up going for 67 yards down to the one-yard line. Wes Cates then scored on a one-yard run to give the Riders a victory. So people remember that game in Hamilton as the breakout game, the, the coming out party for Darian Durant. His, he wins his first game as a starter with a come from behind victory. But that was also the first game where Weston Dressler really showed the type of player that he would become. 2009, the Riders finished first in the West for the first time since 1976. Darian Durant quickly established himself as the starter, justifying the faith that Ken Miller had in him, and Weston Dressler was having another fine year. Late in the regular season, though, the Riders played host to the Toronto Argonauts, and Weston Dressler suffered a broken right fibula, was forced to miss the rest of the season. Even after Weston Dressler was hurt, the Rough Riders kept rolling. In 2009, they finished first in the West. They won the West Division Final at Taylor Field to advance to the Grey Cup. And then in the Grey Cup, they led, as long as there was time on the clock, the Riders never trailed the Montreal Alouettes in that Grey Cup game, even though Montreal had won 15 games that season, but of course ended up losing 28-27. It was the 13th man game. Riders lost by only one point, and you really wonder looking back, as much as that game has been dissected, one element of it is, I think, overlooked. How would that game have been impacted if Weston Dressler had been able to play? The 2009 Grey Cup, the 13th man, will always gnaw at Ryder fans, Ryder Nation. That pain will never entirely go away, but I think the pain was mitigated to a considerable degree by what happened on November 24, 2013, when the Riders not only won the Grey Cup, but also did so at home, beating the Hamilton Tiger Cats 45-23. And again, you look at Weston Dressler and Darian Durant and their 
impact and the way they collaborated to help the Rough Riders enjoy a November that people will always remember. People remember the Grey Cup game. Fittingly, the Rough Riders' sixth and final touchdown was scored by Weston Dressler on a pass from, from Darian Durant. Brian Schlosser, our great photographer, took a wonderful photo of that touchdown catch. But if you look at the start of the playoffs and the way Darian Durant performed right through, he threw eight touchdown passes, not an interception. People remember the home playoff game against BC where Darian pretty much took over in the fourth quarter using his legs, running effectively, and pretty much willing the Saskatchewan Rough Riders to victory, even though they trailed by nine points going into the fourth quarter. So as much as Darian's play in the 2013 West semifinal is affectionately remembered, I think overlooked a bit is the contribution of Weston Dressler. Darian was 19 for 23 that day with two touchdown passes. Both of those touchdown passes were to Weston Dressler. And it kept on going in the West final in Calgary. The Riders went to Calgary and beat a strong Calgary team, a strong Stampeder team, 35 to 13. Darian Durant had another big day. But Weston Dressler caught a touchdown pass. So if you look at the playoffs, people remember Darian Durant and what he did in the 2013 postseason. But don't forget Weston Dressler. Two touchdown catches in the West semifinal, another touchdown catch in the West final, and of course a strong performance in the Grey Cup, punctuating the Rough Riders' strong offensive showing that day with a touchdown catch from Darian Durant. 2017, Darian Durant played what turned out to be his final season in the Canadian Football League. He was traded to the Montreal Alouettes in January of 2017. Not dissimilar to the circumstances of January of 2016 when the Riders had cut John Chick and Weston Dressler. Fans were outraged. It was a huge story. There was the same outrage and the same disappointment on the part of the player in January of 2017 when Darian Durant was traded. Spent the year with the Montreal Alouettes. It wasn't a good year, as was the case in 2016. He was playing behind a porous offensive line. So what really could you reasonably expect? He was in a bad situation and uh, it, didn't, it did not turn out well. But as it turned out, his final game as a CFL player was played in Regina at New Mosaic Stadium. The Alouettes visited Regina late in the year and Darian Durant signed off as a player in Regina. And that's the way it should have turned out. Leading up to the 2018 season, Darian Durant announced his retirement from the Canadian Football League, and he also talked about the arrival of his daughter, his first child. Her name, Amaya Taylor. The Taylor was for Taylor Field. That just shows how much Darian Durant loved being a part of the Ryder Nation, loved playing at, at Taylor Field, and he was certainly loved in return. He'll be a Ryder icon as long as people talk about this team. Same can be said of Weston Dressler, even though he, like Darian Durant, did not complete his CFL career with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, he's remembered for his time in green and white. So you look at Darian Durant and Weston Dressler, there's so many commonalities between the two, even the fact that they were, I think, dismissed by a lot of football people for size or lack thereof. Weston Dressler, only five foot seven. Darian Durant, five foot 11, certainly undersized for a quarterback, but look at their accomplishments. Just two Rough Rider greats, two Rider icons, two people who really loved being here and understood the fabric of Rider Nation and what it meant to play here, to live here, and to be part of this franchise. They're as automatic as inductees can be for the Plaza of Honor, and who knows, maybe they'll go in together. It would certainly be fitting. Thanks so much for joining us. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the Leader Post's YouTube channel. There's a little bell insignia or a whatever it is. Feel free to click on it and you'll be notified when future videos become available. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Don Beck and Clubhouse 23 for making us feel so welcome here. Take care and have a great day.